I have a serious question for men. Question is, what happened to chivalry? Where'd it go? Did you guys forget about it? I don't know. I'm just asking. I was rejected by a matchmaker this week. You wouldn't be able to work with me. When we met, I told her what I was looking for and told her a lot about me. And I tried to highlight some of my core qualities including the fact that I'm very, very type A, organized, I like to be the leader, I told her the types of things that I like doing. I also told her I was looking for a man who was also a leader because I don't want to always be the leader, believe it or not. I told her I was looking for someone that was at or above the same income level as me, driven, who is ambitious, who is ready for a long-term relationship and ready to get married. She may have actually picked up on the fact that I'm a little high strung. I'm not like a stressed out or anxious person. I'm just high energy or type A. This is who I am. And she was asking me, do I meditate? No. Do I journal? No. Do anything? Woo. And I said, no. So in fact, I'm not even on the same planet as woo. When talking about what I didn't like in a man, I said I could never really be with a beta type man. I specifically used the word doormat. I said, I would chew them up and spit them out. And her response was, well, I married that type of man. She was saying that, you know, men really like a soft woman and I should try some of these vision board, journaling, meditating type of things. We're never going to be that type of person. She also said that she could sense I had some walls up, which of course I'm coming to meet a woman who I'm asking to find my future husband at the rate of several thousand dollars. I, of course, am gonna be here really just trying to interview you, my dear friend, because I wanna know if I'm gonna get my money's worth with you. So of course I'm gonna have some walls up. I also think it's perfectly normal to have some walls up when you are meeting someone for the very first time and who also had not taken the time to do her own research on me by stalking me on the internet. She definitely didn't have time because she asked for my socials no more than one hour before our meeting. So I asked her if she thought I would be ready for her services, her response, she essentially said that I am not ready for her type of services because I have too much work to do. My walls are too high and I'm not ready for a long-term committed relationship at the ripe age of 38 where I've been in therapy for 10 plus years. She also said that I, she's too woo for me, which I can accept that, that's fine. However, I shouldn't need to be a woo type person to be worthy of love. She also said that I need to soften a little bit and men like a softer woman. Essentially, I spent $350 to meet with this woman, have her tell me I am not worthy of love as I am, but the fact that I need to change in order to be worthy of love and partnership which honestly, I think for that reason alone, she should have her matchmaking license taken away because we shouldn't be pushing on these narratives that people are not worthy as they are and essentially telling women that they, the type of woman they are isn't worthy of love. That is a narrative that should not be given to anyone or it is dangerous commentary. And the fact that she said this to my face had some audacity. Well, we're celebrating my 38th birthday tonight and we are gonna wash all of what she said aside. I am so excited. And we're gonna believe that no matter the type of woman you are, love is out there for you. We are- You don't care. Let me tell I know I'm probably just being so dramatic and annoying, but this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college and I'm in person and I'm commuting in the city and it takes me fucking forever to get there. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford living in the city right now. So that's off the table. Like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work and it would be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here. Like I get on the train at 730 and I don't get home till like 615 earliest. And then like I don't have time to do anything. I don't I want to shower eat my dinner and go to sleep i don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either like i don't have energy to work out like that's out the window like i'm so upset oh my god nothing to do with my job at all but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy being in the office nine to five like if it was remote you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine but like i'm not home it takes me long to get home and like like people that drive to the office like it doesn't you don't get off at five and i know it could be worse i know i could be working longer but like 
I literally get off, it's pitch black, like, I don't have energy, how do you have friends, like, how do you have time to, like, meet, like, a guy, I don't know, like, how do you have time for, like, dating, like, I don't have time for anything, and I'm, like, so stressed out, and I'm also getting my period, so that's why I'm all emotional, but, like, am I so dramatic? It's